With the foreign buyers ban going ahead, this is in housing, the government is convinced it will help more first home uh, buyers onto the property ladder. I, I'm not that convinced, but, but good on them for being positive about it. And even if prices simmer, it's still a hard market to crack, isn't it? Because the horse bolted a long time ago. So what we've done is we've called in an expert to say, right, Duncan, you know nothing. No one else knows anything. We know something. Mm-hmm. Debbie Roberts uh, from Property Apprentice knows all these sorts of things and how a first home buyer can get in the market. So Debbie, uh, no pressure. Good no, morning. I was just going to say no pressure. Thanks for <laughs> exactly. that. Yeah. The floor is yours. How, how do first home buyers crack the code basically? Okay, excellent. I've got some good tips. Um, first of all, I want to say if you're thinking that the foreign buyer ban is going to help with house prices, think again, hmm. because it's been well known for the last six to 12 months that that's coming in. If um, foreign buyers were worried about it, they would have been ploughing and, you know, getting, uh, there would have been some panic buying. And they haven't, have they? And it hasn't happened. Mm. So I think that's going to give you an indication of what's actually going to happen. And what else can they do? So you're a first, so here I am, I'm a first home buyer. Um, That's not going to affect me in any way. So, oh, bugger, I thought that might help, but that's not going to help. So (laughs) what's next? I honestly, I think it's it's never been better to buy yourself a property. It's hard. I'm not going to argue with that. Financially. It's certainly not easy, Mm -hmm. but it never has been easy to buy your first property. So you need to decide whether you're going to buy your first home or whether it's going to be an investment in a cheaper area somewhere, but you need to get your foot on the ladder because if you don't, what's the alternative? You're still going to be renting by the time you hit retirement. Because every day it becomes more expensive, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, basically, I mean, tomorrow, I mean, the market might dip a little bit more, but every day basically it becomes more expensive. There's no time like today. Absolutely. And at the moment, we've got really low interest rates. We've got stable house prices. You know, the house prices aren't increasing phenomenally anymore, which is great for people that are trying to get into the market. There's less competition out there, so you've got a better chance of negotiating and buying a good deal. Is it a buyer's market right now? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely it is. So, you know, get out there and negotiate. And I keep thinking, you know, why do I tell people to negotiate hard? We've got a couple of properties we're trying to sell at the <laughs> moment. Be smart. What do you mean by be smart? One of your tips is to be smart. What do you mean yeah. by that? Because it's so such a generic term. You need, to be, you need to think logistically about this. So, you know, not everyone's going to be able to afford to buy their dream home. And I mentioned that a couple yes. of, a few weeks ago, and I keep looking at Amanda when I say <laughs> that. I'm feeling very guilty. Yes, I know. But, but seriously, you know, you've got to start somewhere. You know, I think back to the first house that Paul and I bought. You know, we bought this little 80 square metre house, a two bedroom ex state house. The carpet stunk so bad. Mm-hmm. It was it was horrible. Did you buy the place that I just bought? Maybe. Because, no, because... we knocked it down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but Eventually that, we knocked it down. What about KiwiSaver? How easy is that to access for your first home to it's, get on it that It takes ladder? some time to get it out, but it's a brilliant way to help boost your house deposit. And there's a number of other resources available as well. You know, government grants are available. So you might qualify for some of those. Um, we've, we've actually, there's been so much demand from first home buyers for help that we've put together a webinar with one of New Zealand's leading mortgage brokers. All right, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. The, okay. um, do I use a broker or not? Absolutely use a broker. And the reason that it's important to use a broker is because all of the banks have got different lending criteria yes. and they don't advertise what that lending criteria is to mm. the public. Mm. So one bank might turn you down for a loan, but another bank could say yes. And and the other thing is they don't get to see you. Yeah. If, if we, you know, but I'm, I'm serious about that. They're dealing with a broker who they're used to, and the broker's doing your bidding, basically, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, have a plan. Put, you know, be honest with you yourself. absolutely have to have a plan. You've got to sort yourself out financially um, because it's not easy to get that first deposit together. Mm. But if you don't have a plan, you're never going to do it. Not, on your list is not done this, but we should put it on there. Ask mum and dad. Oh, absolutely. You know, if, if, you, if your parents are in a position that they can help you, then great. You know, if you're not in a position that you can get help from parents, because not everyone's got wealthy parents. Correct. But you know, if you if you're not in that position to get some help, it's vitally important that you get yourself a plan and start putting that into into practice and, and stop, make and it stop urgent looking, and stop looking where you can't afford. I know, because <laughs> seriously, if you think six hundred and fifty thousand is unaffordable now, wait ten years and you'll no, be looking you. at a million dollar price okay. tag. Hey, good stuff, Debbie. Always appreciate your time on the show. Really well said. Um, if you want to hear more from Debbie, she's hosting it. For-